Perfect. Perfect. First time being here in a long time. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out and see what's going on here at WSS. Been hearing a lot of good things about the products they've been having here. As you can see, they have a lot of good stuff. We got some Jordans here. Don't see any retros at the moment, but we got Jordan 37s. This right here is a classic for all the OGs out there. This specific colorway, the new buck and suede 144 on a retail, a little bit too much. But these are definitely dope and classic, bro. They also have them in a university blue color tone. But you can never go wrong with university blue on some Jordans. They got the UNC toe, Palomino mid, Jordan 37s. Over here, we got some more mids. Lucas, this LeBron 20. One of the better colorways to release out of LeBron 20. Have a couple sales here. Some uh, Harachis on sale for 79 bucks. Can't go wrong with this colorway. And we got some Prestos here. We've seen these before. This colorway is definitely on point. Both of them, these are 99 and the ones behind it are 89 bucks. They're even on sale too. Not quite sure I've seen this color selection or color combination on the Air Max 90. This one's not bad, 130 on the retail. They got these Reebok pumps here, 169 on the retail. Don't recall seeing this colorway in stores just yet. Not a bad colorway. Got them here for 169 with a few sizes left. Then we got the classic Iris in the navy blue colorway. Have you guys seen this one before? I honestly don't feel like I've seen this colorway. I do like it. It's not bad. Pat Mezzer on here. 160 on the retail. Gotta drop that price a little bit, but not too bad for both of these shoes right here. So here we have a few colorways of LeBron Witness 7, all retailing for $105. First up, we got the LeBron Witness in the black and white colorway. Definitely a great shoe. Like I said, the color combination is not bad. Black and white with the hints of the gray in there. You can never go wrong with that. Next up, we got this triple black colorway of the Witness 7. This one right here is more stealth. It's like black with the gray. So it's not triple black. This is gray with black on here. You got a little hint of the white. 105 on the retail. All colorways is pretty dope. Next up, we got this one, which is kind of my favorite so far. The red, black, and white colorway. Red, black, white. You got the hint of the gray on there too. 105 for all of these. This colorway is definitely dope. Light bone, black, and phantom is the color scheme for this one. Definitely one of the ones with more character and vibrance to the shoe. Like I said, maybe one of the better colorways of the Witness 7. As we have the Witness 8 around the corner. I like the detailing on the back. That goes on the midsole. You can't go wrong with this color combination. Definitely one of the best ones so far. These two are probably my favorite colorways that we've seen so far in this, in this little video or segment. The fifth colorway of the Witness 7, one of the more newer colorways as well too. Witness 7 H022 Performance Basketball Shoe. Definitely fire, man. This colorway right here is a solid eight, eight and a half out of 10. But of the LeBron Witness 7 colorways, all five of these guys right here, which one do you guys like the most? If I had to choose, it'd probably be first, second, third, fourth, fifth. But that's my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section below. Nike Air Max Impact 4 colorway for these is not bad. I have seen some pretty good colorways in this shoe. Only $90 on the retail, $89.99. This one here almost gives me the same vibes as maybe this LeBron Witness 7 right here. Both shoes are pretty dope. These ones look like Witness 7s, to be honest with you. The Air Max Alpha Trainers look like uh, Witness 7s. Then we have this Trey Young Unlimited. The Trey Unlimited, this colorway is definitely one of the better colorways. I have a review on my channel of a colorway I like a lot too, but this one's dope. I actually seen him hooping in these. One in 10 scale, this is a solid eight and a half, nine, $90 on the retail. So we did a comparison on the channel. Which one do you guys like more? The uh, Immortality, which is Giannis's budget model, or the Trey Unlimited, Nike versus Adidas? Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Next, we have the Immortality 2 and the Immortality 3. Both of these shoes are very dope. You can see the evolution of them. The swoosh backward swoosh here, but a bigger one on this side. Ventilation here, you got more ventilation on both sides of the shoe. Can't go wrong. You got 34, Giannis's logo. So the branding for Giannis is all over the shoe. Both of them do have the pull tabs. Different, unique pull tabs, but they both have pull tabs. They say the cushioning on uh, this one here the Immortality 3 is a little softer than the cushion on the Immortality 2. And by touch, it kind of feels the opposite way. It feels a little bit more firm on the Immortality 3 than it does the 2. But 
And both of these shoes are dope. Both of these are priced at $85. You can't go wrong with them. Which one do you guys like more? Look at this. I like the materials used on the Superstar 144 in the retail. Got the hard shell, new buck. You got the suede right here too. Three panels. You definitely can't go wrong with that. 144 in the retail. That's a little crazy. But uh, the colorway and the materials used on here is on point. Oswego's in a couple colorways. Both of these to me are dope. $75 on the retail for either one of them. This shoe looks a little different. The polar face. This black one is a little bit more easier on the eyes. Pretty good selection here at this WSS. Plus we got some form lows right here. This color combination, the blue, black, and white, is not bad on this. Perfect for back to school. 110 on the retail. Got a couple superstars. 110 also, color combination is not bad either. This new variation of the superstar, that's like a platform vibe. Three colorways, only 110 or 105 on the retail. Had to cut that short really quick because the back wall is always on fire. We got more shoes out there to look at and some things on the aisles too. But the back walls have always been on point here at WSS. And one of my friends sent me something. If I still have the picture, I'll put it up on the screen. But he's been finding some heat here on the back wall. Now look at these Prestos. Now these just came out. 79 bucks, 134 normally. They were on sale earlier, like out there on the aisle. But um, much cheaper here on the back wall. $74 on those. That's a new Presto too. That just came out. What else do we have over here? Another pair of the Prestos. Some Pegasus for 79 bucks as well too. We got some 270s down here. Size 13 for 89 bucks. If I was looking for some... 270s, maybe I'll scoop that up. But it's been here. Trey, Katie Trey 5s on sale for 64 bucks. These Hirachis are $79. More stuff up there too. Of course, they might have some boxes, but the boxes are always destroyed and uh, destroyed beyond repair for the most part. Immortality 2s for 59 bucks. Back wall continuing, nine and a half. They got the LeBron 19s on deck here. This colorway is not a bad one. On deck, back wall for 89 bucks. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, Jordan 2 trays in that Concord colorway, man. Dope colorway. Translucent also, just nobody really wants them. 89 bucks on those. More Pegasus over here. This color combination on these is not bad, bro. Not bad at all. Mortalities. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Two bangers. We got the Iverson Kobe. And we got the Denver Nuggets Iverson. 69 bucks on these. Definitely been tried on. This is size 8. And they got the, uh, what's the size? Size 7.5, 49 bucks. So this is a men's pair. Men's 7.5 on the Kobe Bryant. P.E. Iversons right there. Not bad at all. Then we got these down here too. The Shaq pumps. 49 bucks size 8. Now this was a bigger size. <clears throat> this was like a, a 13 or a 12. I would consider having them. Used to have them before and sold them. Maybe I shouldn't have. But uh, $49 for this is not bad at all, bro. That colorway is dope. I just wish it was a bigger size size 8 for 49 bucks crazy 49 bucks on those iris and blue toe 69 bucks 69 bucks for those and 49 for the shacks that's crazy maybe it makes sense these are going for 49 for a seven and a half bro pretty pretty wild seven and a half Hirachi, 79 bucks. Oh, we got some more Iversons here. Size seven and a half for the DMX one. 49 bucks here. I guess all of these might be kids. We're gonna take a glance. If I see something worthwhile, I'll show y'all. Do have the all red Lucas, six and a half, and the black and white ones here, and Martelli, some more Lucas. Got these retros here too, so they do got some retros, Jordan retros, the paprikas for kids. 79 bucks on those. They got the Audi Foam Runners here, 39 bucks, size four and a half. Thought these were something else. You guys know what I thought these were. Funny as hell, right? Crocs in all colorways that I have yet to see. Never seen these in a store before. Not too bad. These ones are pretty wild too. 54 bucks on them. All three colorways is kind of dope. They got some budgets here too. Some more. The Curries. This is definitely like the Golden State vibe right here. $69 on the retail for these. 
Let me know if you guys are a fan of these. More budget model. This is from Nike. This is the KD Trey 510. Definitely seen many colorways. This colorway is definitely not bad either. I do like this. Had to come and check out the Reebok Classics really quick. Pretty cool colorway. 69 bucks on those. These ones are not bad either with that suede. 69 for these two. New style of blazer. Reminds me of those dunks we saw not too long ago. Let me know if y'all are feeling this. New color combination on the Air Max 90. Not mad at this one. I do like this colorway on this 270. It is gray school, but the navy blue with the university blue and white. The color combination is on point. Have a couple more Air Max 90s here on their backer wall. 89 bucks for this one, 129 for that one. This is actually not a bad one for 89 bucks, bro. To be honest with you, almost like a safari or a what the vibe. That's what I call it. And they also have these uh, for 150. Is that the normal price for them? Normally 179. Got them here for 150. Yeah, double the CDs. They have them on sale also at WSS. 149 as opposed to 180. You never go wrong with that. Up to 60% off on certain things here. Look at this hat. People have been finding these at Ross for like 9 dollars They got them here for 24 bucks. Zoom Freak, 14. We need these cheap hats to go cheaper. This one's not bad too. It's Lake of Mitchell and Ness, $19 as opposed to 38. And it's a snapback, but $19 when I've been finding them cheaper. I'm gonna leave that alone. If you guys see something in here you like or want me to come back for, I'll add it to my website. Of course, BoscoCookies.com. No telling how long this stuff will be here, though. That's pretty different. Chicago Bulls overprint. Not bad. These hats are pretty dope. $19 is not bad for them, but uh, just not doing that right now when I'm getting them for $12.99 and stuff like that, too. I do like this hat, though. This right here gives me, like, old-school vibes. Shop BoscoScoodies.com. If you guys buy more, I'll go ahead and buy more too to add there. But I just need some products to sell more. Laker hat, fitted hat. 19 bucks. It's only a matter of time for this stuff goes a little cheaper too. Yeah.